special guest we have. Kuya Nico! Kuya Nico, where are we? What are we going to do and what is it? So we are here today at the ASUS Philippines headquarters. So, uh, bago nga pala yun, I am Nico again. <laughs> so, medyo magkapangalan kami dalawa. Kind of, yeah. So, uh, almost same spelling. Uh, so, I'm Nico again, a technical PR specialist from ASUS Philippines. And today we are going to be doing an unboxing. An unboxing of what? Something. Something. Something big. Yes. <laughs> so, we have here the... Zenbook Duo. So we are going to unbox this today and we are going to give you my, actually, my mm. first impressions on the Zenbook Duo. So yeah. this was actually released back in September, right? Yes. So later we'll explain why we're only just now doing a review on this. But right now, we're going to get into this. So we need a knife. <laughs> um. Uh-oh. <laughs> We have an unboxing Maybe knife. Yeah, maybe the pen. Okay, one second. Oh, you're you're mic. Oh. How do we do this then? Uh, yeah. There you go. You got this. Very professional unboxing over here. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Ah. Okay. Again, I think. So that I mean, I I was disappearing. <laughs> behind the box okay so inside the box is it's, another box it's another box was that absolutely necessary all right so let's okay, get let's rid of get... this and here is i guess the unit is inside of here so that's nice there's extra protection if yes. you buy the zenbook duo so we're gonna get out our trusty pen again and more opening all right. Okay, so you do the honors. I'm weak. <laughs> oh. There uh, we you go. You need help? There we go. Maybe pull on that side. Okay. Let's... Mm -hmm. I mean, we know now it's protected because the plastic won't come off. There's a phone there ringing. I'm professional. There we go. I'll take the trash. Boom. So first impression for someone who's, you know, a regular mm -hmm. consumer. I like the box. That's a personal opinion. Because some people, uh, some boxes of laptops have na yeah, uh, like uh, And then it's info. just brown or something. Yeah, uh, and then it's brown and everything like that. So now... So it, this is actually a very premium box. It is, it actually yeah. is. There so, you yeah. go. Okay, so. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, all right. So, so it, the, it with the top on? fresh off, uh, we have, of course, the laptop with its protective film. So we should pull it out. Yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, it's heavy. Yes, it's, uh, it's the laptop it. itself is around one and a half kilos. Oh. Yeah. But you'll see why it's. Uh, that heavy later on. So we have here uh, instruction manuals. So then, what I can s assume from this cutout, there's a stylus. Yeah, there's a stylus option which will be coming out soon. Oh, it's coming out yeah. soon. Okay. But with the oh, so we have the power brick and power cable here. Yeah. Okay. So battery-wise, what are we talking here? So it has a 70 watt hour battery. So. Uh, later, we'll be mentioning battery life for uh, two specific scenarios and we'll only find out once we get to the unbox to the very special feature of this laptop. Because when you open it up, you will see something very special. Ooh, something very special. So, of course, uh, it's very well protected with more plastic coverings. So we'll Set those aside. There's also this, which you can remove fairly easily. So in here, you can actually see all the special features mm -hmm. of this laptop. So, so we have what we call the ScreenPad Plus. So later, 
Uh, You'll know why it's called the yes. Zenbook Duo. Yeah. Then there's color and then accuracy. It has a very color accurate display. Mm -hmm. So you can use this. It's perfect for anything that requires accurate color reproduction. Mm -hmm. And then we have mm -hmm. stylus support, support again, yeah. Wi-Fi 6. So it has very fast wireless uh, connections. Mm -hmm. And then you also have uh, an infrared camera for Windows Hello. So you can actually unlock this laptop with just your face. Ooh. You just need your face to yeah. unlog a laptop. And then it also has what we call the ErgoLift design. So yeah. ErgoLift hinge, so we'll show you that later. Yeah. And, and it is also a military-grade military standard laptop. It's sturdy. Is that one of the reasons why it's heavy? I would uh, one of the reasons, yes. yes. So, so sure. let's open it up. Uh, yeah, let's open it up. Okay. We, need, we, need, we need a second camera here <laughs> to, to witness this action. <laughs> All right, so we're, we will you do the honors okay. of opening it up. Okay, one, two, two three. Ah. Okay. So of course there's this protection. Uh, once you, it's fresh out of the box, of yes. course. So there's going to be extra protection. But we're going to know the reason why it's called the Zenbook Duo now. And they, and then you actually already have a clue here because this one says ScreenPad Plus. Pretty much. So let's get rid of this. And there you go. Boom. So, Guys, two screens on a laptop. When have you ever like seen that? Aside from like other laptops which feature like the like on the MacBook the touchpad, mm -hmm. but you can only like have hotkeys there. Yeah, and emojis. And emojis and you can just use it to unlock mm -hmm. your but it's not a screen. You can't really do anything aside from, you know, just touch it for any anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's so let's boot turn it, it on. Yeah. yeah, let's boot it up. Hopefully it has a battery. It does not. It so does not. So we're going to plug it in. Uh, I mean... So it plugs in on this side. Oh, and the other side? Okay. Yeah. So before we plug it in, actually, let's show the different, like... Different I.O. ports? Yes, around the ports the around the laptop. So on the right side of the laptop, there is one USB Type-A, an audio jack, and a micro SD reader. On the left side, there's one more USB Type-A port, um, Type-C uh, charging capabilities, and an HDMI port. And there's also the traditional uh, charging port. Yeah. Okay, so let's plug so it in. Let's plug it in. Turn it on. Come closer. Come closer. You ready? You ready? Yeah. So that's what they meant with the Ergolift feature, yeah. which is very reminiscent to the uh, Zephyrus that we actually reviewed on this channel before. Uh, but it. It actually didn't start with the Zephyrus, right? It started with an earlier version of the Zenbook. Uh, yes, and then, so for the Zenbook line, it actually started a uh, few models back. So there was a Zenbook that had the ErgoLift design, which mm -hmm. was primarily to cool the laptop down. Mm -hmm. So that prevents heat buildup, as well as provide uh, a more comfortable typing experience. Mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of like uh, when you raise the flaps at the bottom of your keyboard. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so with the keyboard, actually, the first thing I notice is it's very jam-packed. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, to make way for the, for the screen, yeah. for the screen that's on the keyboard. So the keyboard is right here. So there's no longer space for the trackpad. So you yeah. put it on the side. So I guess it's just personal preference, but the physical uh, touch pads for the mouse one and mouse two buttons. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I don't know. The feel for that for me is just different, but I guess it's also Hi personal there. preferences. I'm Cortana. Hi there. I'm here to help. <laughs> 
So Kirtana says hi. So as we mentioned, this is a sealed unit. So this is the first time we're opening it up. So Kirtana is saying hi. So to if you're doing all of this us. alone, don't be alarmed. It's just Kirtana. <laughs> okay, we have to keep her quiet now. Yeah. Um, if you need an assistive screen reader, please be quiet. Okay. Um, so I guess we sit through this. Yeah. So this is the first. Uh, this is what you get when you first. Uh, turn on the ZenBook Duo, so you go through the Microsoft setup. I mean, with every yeah, with new every new laptop. gadget, yeah, even your cell phone, you have to go through this setup. So let's just slide that we don't have internet, so we don't have to sit yeah. through more of these. Yes, we get it. We get it. Let's go. So who's gonna use this? Um, so will you be using it? I'll just name it after you. Okay. I mean, of course, if you're buying this for yourself, you can, you know, take your time with the setup. But you know, we're on a clock here. <laughs> <laughs> Cortana, we're done. Let's go. So I see a camera over here. What do you think is the? So that's the. That's actually the IR camera. Oh. So later on, we can show everyone uh, how you can use your face or your biometrics to open up okay. or unlock the laptop. So it's just needing a few moments. Okay. So hopefully it's like quicker than my phone right now, because I'm using the S8, and it's pretty quick in recognizing my face, mm -hmm. I would say. So hopefully it'll do it like that. Mm -hmm. And you'll also see there will be some fancy light flashes from the IR camera. Later. There's a light yeah. show, guys. It's going to be a light show. So I see the different buttons that I don't recognize. So this one is a button that just disables the, t the trackpad. Yes. So this one disables it. This one, I'm not sure, arrows? Uh, so this one, and you'll see it later, this one enables you to use the entire, uh, like the dual screens for your work. So mm -hmm. uh, the window or the application you, that you'll be working on will be extended on both displays. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So we're going to oh, oh, there you go. There we go. Whoa, that's amazing. So welcome to Screen Expert. There's more setup, I guess. Uh, it's more of a tutorial, so, so uh, you can tap launcher here. So that's the application launcher. So this contains. Uh, all the applications that you can use with your screen mm -hmm. pad, uh, screen pad plus. Wait, so I you can. I want to do that again. <laughs> so you just need to follow its instructions and yeah. then. Yeah. Oh, that's Spotify. Yes. Drag the window into the. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'll just uh, show you the. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I don't need Cortana because I have the technical <laughs> PR of Aces here, but we have to go through it. Yeah. Okay. So, so for example, you want uh, you want to switch over. Uh, you want an app to switch over from your main screen to your secondary screen. So you mm -hmm. can just drag it here mm -hmm. to this middle icon. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So here is the screen pad, so it's booting up now. So for example, you want to open File Explorer, but you don't want it on your main screen. You mm -hmm. just want to use it on your secondary screen. So you can drag it down here to this icon. So this automatically pops up when you open, uh, uh, when you drag around the window, and then it just goes to the other screen. All right, then, so I'm curious now what this button does. Since both screens work now? Yeah. OK, so this button does this. Oh, so basically what you just did. Yeah. So this is just so an easier way. It switches. And then what you can do, actually, is you can drag this, this window, and then use this icon, drag it to this icon, mm -hmm. and then oh. you basically extend your window. Thing. You extend the entire thing to 
both screens. The displays. Wow, one and a half screens <laughs> on one laptop. Honestly, the, the first thing that came to mind when I saw that this was a thing was, hey, I can finally watch K-drama without having to cut my screen in half because I have the, the video here and then my Word document mm -hmm. here and then other research things over here. So having a separate display kind of eradicates that. Yeah. I can just put my K-drama here and have the main screen mm -hmm. of, wow, okay. Okay, and then I'll also show you something really cool. So okay. for example, you have your Word document here on your main screen. So, and then you, you're looking at something uh, on your browser, right? Maybe some sort of reference. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is drag it down here. Mm -hmm. And then since this is a touch screen, you can actually manipulate it here. And oh. then you can just do this. It's, it gets stuck there. So you can actually pin a total of three screens. Three. Uh, three applications here at the bottom part. So let's say you're, you're also using uh, maybe your email or let's go with uh, OneNote or PowerPoint. So you can that. This Here, is a level of multitasking that no one can keep up with. Yeah. So you can have, actually you can even have two of these, but that's just overkill at this yeah. point. So you can have your work at the top of the screen and then you can have like maybe three other applications here at the bottom. So you can have your browser here, wow. maybe you're watching YouTube. You can have uh, your files here at the bottom. So if you need to drag and drop anything and then you can have another application here, maybe Spotify or something else. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of speechless, honestly, because this has been something that I didn't know that I wanted. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I usually use, I just split my main screen in half mm -hmm. and have all of my uh, multitask work there. And then you did that <laughs> with four applications. Ah. You can actually go up to five, but let's not, let's not do let's, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, already you can overkill. split this in four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you can have seven applications open if you need. Yeah, and yeah. speaking of uh, having several applications open, uh, you don't really have to worry about running out of performance because for this version, we have a Core i5 uh, processor. Which is with, this one. Yes, with 16 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs of RAM, okay. So we'll actually talk about later about the other options Yeah. Uh, because we will be explaining why we're uh, reviewing this particular product because mm. there's going to be something special coming up, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. So first impressions for me, build quality, it's a bit heavy but not too bad really to be completely honest. Uh, it does say here that it's military grade, ultra durable, so hopefully it can withstand a couple drops here and there. <laughs> Yeah, sure. So, yeah. so if it's in a backpack, it doesn't get jostled around. Yeah. Even if it does get jostled around, it will survive. So it's actually tested for uh, knocks, drops, even a couple of spills here and this there. This one? So, yeah. This one? <laughs> so, I mean, dual, dual screens. Mm -hmm. Dude, I didn't even know that I needed dual screens up until I saw that Asus that, had yeah. a dual screen. I've never seen it in any other laptop, and that's... Amazing. So when we tested out the laptop, actually, there's no hiccups, actually, so even though this is just i5 mm -hmm. still. So it's a very high performance. It's very high performance. So like build quality, weight, the screen, the screens are massive. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you that. So the like the screen to body ratio, it's it's awesome. So the main screen, what what's the uh... Uh, so the main screen is around 14 inches. Mm hmm. And so then that's, that's a full HD display. So it's 1080p. Yes. And, and then, with the second or the ScreenPad Plus. So it's around 12.6 uh, inches. Mm -hmm. And it's also full HD, at least in the horizontal resolution. So it's also 1080p. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's enough for me to be honest. For someone who mm -hmm. would invest in a laptop this good. Uh, speakers, we didn't really get to test that. Uh, uh, there's no internet. To? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, they're Harman Kardon speakers, so they're actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. And since the speakers are at the bottom, so it also uses... It, it resonates the, from yeah. the surface. Yeah. And 
there's actually a bigger sound chamber at the bottom because of the ergo lift. Oh, so yeah, you get true. better sound quality. Yeah, it lifts it. up yeah. at like uh, somewhat of a degree so mm -hmm. that it could cool much more easily. Um, so when it comes to performance, Okay, so I mentioned earlier that uh, there's a this one, mm -hmm. the a Core i5 version, but there's also a Core i7 version oh, wow. of the laptop. Oh, uh, memory-wise? So this has uh, 16 gigs of RAM mm -hmm. and 512 gigs of uh, SSD, that's which is uh, yeah. M.2 PCIe. Oh, that's pretty hefty. Mm -hmm. What about the i7 version? So the i7 version has, uh, I think it has around fifth, uh, one terabyte of SSD. SSD, wow. Yeah. Uh, with uh, how many gigs of RAM? Uh, still 16 gigs. Still 16 yeah. gigs, okay. Uh, so this retails for? Uh, so for the Core i5 version, this retails for around 74995 For the Core i7 version, that retails for around 84995 And there's also a Pro series yes. of this. So, so the, the ZenBook Pro Duo. Mm -hmm. So the ZenBook Pro Duo that. is a 15-inch version of the laptop, and it also comes with upgraded display. So uh, the display is again 15-inch 4K resolution. Both the screen oh, so pad. Oh, so it has a better resolution. Yes. Because this one is HD 1080p, and then that one has 4K resolution. Okay. Okay. So 4K on both the main screen as well as the screen, the pad, screen pad. Wow. Okay. So that. So it's also Core i7. Uh, there's a Core i7 version, and then there's a Core i9 version. So that's even more powerful, and it comes standard with 16 gigs of RAM. But you can uh, you can opt for a six uh, a 32 gig RAM version. So the Core i7, how much would it retail for? So for the Core i7, that's around one thirty nine 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 five for the sixteen gig version, and then one sixty nine 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 five for the thirty two gig RAM version. Okay. So, f so and the then the Core i nine version goes up to one hundred ninety nine 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 five. Okay, I mean, for, mm. to be fair, you're paying for more performance. Yes, and more screens. And more screen size. Oh, that's fair. Uh, so. Uses for the ScreenPad Plus? I mean, I've already stated that mm -hmm. what I would use it for, honestly. I would use it for multitasking when it comes to watching videos and doing stuff for school. Mm -hmm. uh, what, are, what are some of the things that the ScreenPad Plus can do? So the ScreenPad Plus is, re or even the ZenBook Duo and Pro Duo themselves, they are really uh, targeted for creators. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've designed this laptop in mind with uh, possible usage cases like uh, photo editing, video editing. Oh, so your toolbar can Yeah, so for different so softwares. you have your you have your uh, you have your work on the main screen and then you can have your toolbars uh, on the screen pad plus and you can even use it for um, music production so you have uh, you have your, your sliders yeah, here you have your timeline at the top and then you have your sliders at the bottom. Maybe you can have an equalizer volume control down there. So really a lot of users. Your imagination is basically the limit with the ScreenPad Plus. So it's definitely like not like the touchpad of MacBook no. at all. This, OK, yeah, that, that's amazing. All right, so the reason for this uh, review right now actually is because Asus has a promo coming up called mm -hmm. the Share 2019 promo. So with the Share 2019 promo, so for uh, their Duo series, the ZenBook mm -hmm. Duo series, any ZenBook Duo series, you get uh, freebies of up until 18,000 pesos. Oh, not yes. really up until, not up to 18,000 pesos yes. worth of freebies, including a Insex uh, Mini Li Play, mm -hmm. which is um, basically a digital printer. Yeah. It? So it's a digital camera and printer all in one. Yeah. So if you're familiar with the Instax series, it's the one where you can print out your photos like instantly. Instantly yeah. through the camera. Right. And there's also a laptop bag included. Yes. Yeah, so we you can also get an Asus Nereus uh, laptop bag, as well as since uh, this year is actually Asus 30th anniversary. 30th anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> so it, uh, we are also giving away. Um, a bunch of premium Asus 30th anniversary items. Oh, tell us about that. So, 
it actually comes in a box. So this includes um, a hydro flask, so one of those really fancy uh, yes, the containers. Really, yeah, for water. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then it al you can also get uh, premium leather passport holders and a premium leather notebook. So for just for traveling, I mean, if you're yeah. an on the go creator, mm -hmm. so if you need all, if you're interested in all of that, uh, you can actually go to the ASUS website. Mm -hmm for more information and we'll also be putting it down in the description the uh, the series uh, the duo series mm -hmm. and the different uh, options that you can get yeah. and it's also ASUS's website is also linked down below so thank you so much right. okay Nico for this wonderful wonderful experience honestly I enjoyed it a lot yeah so so for the, if you're interested in the promo, so the Share 2019, so you can just head over to the website down in the description, or I am actually going to say it uh, on, uh, on video now. So it's at Asus, uh, asusphilippinespromo.com. So you can find all the mechanics there. And this promotion actually in, uh, extends not only to the ZenBook Duo series or ZenBook Duo and Pro Duo, but it also extends to the ZenBook series, the Expert, uh, sorry, the ZenBook series, the VivoBook series, and the Asus X series laptops. All right. So there will be actually a full review mm -hmm. of the Duo series yeah. coming up. So you can, you know, Expect that, and then if you have any questions for us, you can leave them in the comments down below. And the promo actually runs from November 18. It already started. Yes. Uh, up, until up until December, December. 31st. Yes. So up until the end of the year, the promo will be ongoing. And if, of course, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. And name a better duo. I'll wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> so again, guys, this has been Ate Nikki and... Uh, Kuya Nico. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe down below. You can leave a like on the video. And that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>